There comes a time in every young guardian's life where he or she has to take a break from the raids on Venus and on the moon, as well as taking a small leave of absence from nightfall strikes. Fear not, for I shall return when vault space is a plenty and when the house of wolves needs to be destroyed. Jack, what are you talking about? You will never understand, for you are not forged from light and do not dedicate yourself to the traveler. It's, it's destiny, isn't it? Maybe. Amazon is now offering unlimited cloud storage. If you recall, Amazon Prime members will get free unlimited photo storage. Now, in an effort to compete with Dropbox, Google, and Microsoft's unlimited cloud storage options, Amazon lets you choose one of two plans, unlimited photos or unlimited everything. Both options let you try the service for free for a three-month period. Afterwards, it's $11.99 a year for the photo plan and $59.99 for unlimited everything. That's less than a dollar a month for photos and under $5 a month for unlimited everything. What do you guys think? Is Amazon's pricing compelling enough to start signing up for cloud storage? Are you already with another cloud service? Or are you like me and rather keep things off the cloud and on physical media? Leave a comment. In self-driving car news, Google plans to put external airbags on their driverless cars. Google's patent for the design has been approved by the US Patent and Trademark Office. The airbag would be concealed in a specially designed bumper. The airbag is meant for some situations where the driverless car can't come to a complete stop if a pedestrian comes bolting out in front of the car or it's too dangerous to actually swerve out of the way. The airbag material would be more similar to a memory foam mattress versus an actual bag of air. Researchers at the Ben Gurion University in Israel have come up with bit whispering, a new way of harvesting data from air gapped PCs. Now, air gapped PCs are government and industrial computer systems that aren't connected to outside networks. Basically, bit whispering is the transferring of data between PCs through heat transfer. There's a video of the technique in action with a USB foam missile launcher being controlled. The process, however, requires the PCs to be less than 15 inches or less away from each other and is painstakingly slow, as in 8 bits per hour slow. But researchers are saying that's enough time for sensitive information like passwords to be stolen. I'm skipping a lot of details here, but if you're interested, links will be provided down below. My pressure. You may have noticed that I was stroking my phone when I said my precious. You two can have a phone that's as precious to you as mine is to me. Did that make sense? I don't know, but you know what does make sense? Pre-ordering a Galaxy S6 from Samsung, like the one we reviewed right here in this video. You may not know that NCIX is a Bell authorized dealer, so if you live in BC or Ontario, call, email, or head in person to your local NCIX mobility location to get very competitive pricing on all the latest phones. And yes, we do do price matching. Plus, if you tell them we sent you, you get $50 off. Click here or the link in the description for more details. All right, that's it for Netlink Daily. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe for more videos like this from NCIX. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must prepare my body and mind for this weekend's Vancouver International Auto Show. Vroom, vroom.